Now let's get started to learn some features and components on this laptop diagnostic card. The six digits displayers on this laptop diagnostic card. The top two digits are the BIOS codes and the bottom four digits are the Qiguan factory codes. We can call this factory codes. This laptop diagnostic card comes with two methods of diagnosis, the BIOS codes and the factory codes. BIOS codes have been invented more than 10 years ago and have been used on all PC diagnostic cards on the market now. In addition, in addition to the BIOS code, this laptop diagnostic card comes with unique factory codes and that allows extra diagnosis methods. In the case we find the BIOS code are not clear enough for us, we can go for the factory code and we have two different sets of code lists for our reference. On the top left corner of this laptop test card, there are two LEDs indicator as well. The reset LED and CLK clock LEDs. Both LEDs help to indicate the multiple basic activities. Also, there are small switch buttons for us to press once we press that, we can look back to the previous codes, so we, we get more reference as well. This laptop diagnostic card comes with different types of connectors for earlier and newer laptops. The wider mini PCIe connector is for earlier laptops. The smaller mini PCIe Express connector is for the newer laptops. So we can just swap the laptops um, Wi-Fi cards with this laptop diagnostic card and then power on the laptop to let this card automatically scan the motherboard for us. Also we can see there are also nine pins of the connectors here. These nine pins are, the, are called the LPC connectors. We can also connect a bundle of the LPC cables to the uh, can, and connect this card to the motherboard chipset pins directly. Some weldings are needed, but this method is for advanced users, so we probably won't need to use that. We just use the Wi-Fi connectors, the mini PCI's connections. Alright, turn over these cards. We can see uh, small chips here. This chip is small, but it is very smart because it is not a BIOS postcode only. It is not a BIOS postcard as well. It is a, you need a dual BIOS post and battery diagnosis methods integrated on these single chips. So this card is a very powerful, capable, and allows more effective and accurate laptop diagnosis. We get digital codes, we get LED codes, we get um, different types of connectors for different types of laptops and it is a must-have for all laptop owners and PC technicians. Alright. This is William from PCTestCars.com and PCTestCars.co.uk. In this movie, I'm going to show you how to use the laptop test card testing uh, a laptop that is not showing any post screen. Um, now, right now, let's swap the laptop test card mini PC, PCI card out first. Here is the laptop mini PCI Wi-Fi card. We take this card out. Install the laptop test card. Okay, the card is secure. Next, we need to power on the laptop. Oh, okay, there is the code.
Okay, we can see the codes are changing. The top two digits, top two digits are the BIOS codes. The lower four digits are the factory Qigong codes, 05DE and the CO. We need to write this, this code down. Also, we need to pay attention on the top left. There's a reset LED and also a CLK clock LEDs. Right now, the CLK clock LEDs is steady on, but reset LED never fresh at all. Okay, reset LED should fresh one or couple times the once we press the letter power buttons, but it is never turns on at all. So this indicates the letter motherboard is having the reset circuitry problems. And in order to fix that, we need to repair the mobile chips. Okay, next we should proceed to interpret, you know, the BIOS code and the factory chip code, and this probably will confirm our problems with the reset circuitry.